Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install VirtualBox on your Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, what is VirtualBox? So Oracle VirtualBox is a free and open source hosted hypervisor for virtualization. In other words, VirtualBox helps you to install different operating system virtually on your host operating system. In this case, our host operating system is Windows 11 and you can install for example Ubuntu or Windows 10 or any other Linux or other operating system using VirtualBox on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's see how we can install it. So first of all just open your favorite browser and search for VirtualBox and the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org so we are going to just click on this link and once virtualbox.org website opens directly you will be able to see download button here otherwise you can also click on the downloads link here and you will go to the downloads page right so i'm going to just click on this button and here you will be able to see the installation package for different operating systems so we want VirtualBox for Windows operating system. So we will choose Windows hosts and it's going to download VirtualBox exe file on my Windows 11 operating system. So once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this file and I'm going to minimize my browser and you can see the installer has been started. So on this first setup window, you just need to click on the next button and here you can just leave everything as default and the default location for VirtualBox will be this location. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. So on the next window, you can see uh, the custom setup uh, window and here you can leave everything as checked and uh, this is going to uh, create a desktop icon of VirtualBox on your Windows 11 operating system and it's going to create a shortcut in the quick launch bar and other features. So I generally leave all the checkboxes checked and then I click on the next button. And at this point you just need to press yes and then click on install which is going to start the process of installation of VirtualBox. And if you see this kind of warning just click on yes and now you can see the VirtualBox installation has been started. You just need to wait for some time until this installation is finished. If you see uh, this kind of warning, would you like to install this uh, device software? This means that VirtualBox wants to install some uh, device software on your Windows 11 operating system. So I trust VirtualBox to install these uh, software on my Windows 11 operating system. So I will click on install. And now I can see that this VirtualBox icon is created on my desktop. And in few seconds, you will see this message which says Oracle VirtualBox installation is complete. And at this point, just leave this checkbox as checked, which is going to launch VirtualBox and then click on finish. So now I can see that VirtualBox has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So let me uh, introduce some of the features about VirtualBox, how you can create a virtual machine using VirtualBox. So for creating a new virtual machine, you can click on the new uh, button here or you can click on machine and then click on new option from here also. So I'm going to click on the new option here and here first of all you need to have the ISO file of the operating system which you want to install, right? So for example, if you want to install Ubuntu operating system, you can download the ISO file for Ubuntu operating system from its website. Similarly, you can download Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft website and use it to install on your VirtualBox. So as I said, you need the ISO file of the operating system and the VirtualBox in order to install that operating system virtually on your Windows 11 operating system. I have created many videos about installing different operating system on your VirtualBox. I will put the link in the description 
of those videos so if you are interested just click on those links and you will be good to go so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video